Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Sorry if you can hear the pitter patter of rain on the outside windows. It is absolutely bloody chucking it down right now. But maybe this is just my new journey into the whole ASMR thing. Maybe this is the start of something new for me. Anyway, it is time for another Average Girl Tries video. If you've never seen these videos before, basically it involves me, your average girl, testing the beauty brands, products, looks, everything that everybody's talking about in the like beauty guru side of things and seeing whether I, with almost little to no skill involved, an extremely large round moon face, um, absolutely no coolness or prowess of any kind, to see whether I can pull them off and whether you actually need to spend your hard earned pennies on these things. Wow, what a sell that was. I really need to think of a snappier way to sum up this series. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be testing a new makeup collection which recently hit Primark. This is called their K-pop collection. Let's just stop and just like talk about this for a second. There is one product that I've got which I guess is kind of Korean inspired because it's a cushion product and the whole cushion product thing was originally from Korea I think. Other than that I don't really understand the name. It's kind of irrelevant and a bit random. Um, I hope it hasn't caused anybody any offence. But anyway let's put the name to one side for a second. Focus on the fact that the packaging is extremely cute, it's all very pastel, and on the shelf it looks super adorable and like a really good idea, but is putting those kind of colours on my face actually something that is going to go according to plan? Because I suspect it's probably not. So if you enjoyed this video then please do give it a little thumbs up, uh, get involved down in the comments below, as always I love to hear what you guys think, hit the subscribe button if you are new, and let's go. This is the Sweet Cheeks blender sponge and case. As you can see, looks a lot like a beauty blender, but also comes with this hilarious little egg man that you keep it in, which I actually thought was quite a good idea because when it comes to traveling, I never really know what to do with my beauty blender. It just sort of like floats around and probably picks up all sorts of dangerous bacterias and various hairs. This is the sponge itself, quite little, baby pink matches very well with my jumper. Quite squashy but also much tougher than the sponges that I tend to use. So I thought I would soak this in water first and make it damp like I would with any other beauty blender, just in the interest of fairness. I think a little bit of water has actually helped. Now that it's a little bit damp it feels a little bit softer, although I do feel like this is gonna feel like bouncing a hard boiled egg on my face. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is this is quite a brutal attack actually. Ah, this is kind of painful. <laughs> it also seems to be soaking up quite a lot of my foundation. That literally looks like I've put nothing on. Um, so that's, this is a good start. This is going well. I did actually bring my proper sponge up to use in case this one was a total disaster. <laughs> um, but I feel like that's cheating. I feel like I kind of want to persevere with this, even though I feel like I'm going to wake up tomorrow with two black eyes from like doing this. And it's also gone like a bit lumpy and strange. Like your thighs when you wear ripped jeans that are too tight. <laughs> Anybody relate? Okay, I've officially had enough of this sponge. I'm just gonna finish blending with my hands, I think, because this thing, it shouldn't take this much thought to make a makeup sponge work. So this, no, no. However, doesn't take away from the fact that this is still hilarious and great. Time for the eyeshadow palette. And just wait until you see these colors because honestly, I'm a little bit worried about this. So this is the K-pop Sugar Rush eyeshadow palette. Um, it's actually very cute packaging. I love the pastel pink, the little polka dots, although it does literally look like child makeup. Like this looks like something that I would have had when I was little. To me this is terrifying and overwhelming. I watch so many beauty gurus that use like amazing rainbow palettes with colours like this and think how do you know what to do? How do you know where to put? I mean like this blue, this like red colour. What do I do with those? Where do they go? I'm gonna start with any suggestions anyone? I think I might start with this like peachy, kind of like an orangey pink colour and then we'll just watch this disaster unfold together. So I'm gonna go for some of this to begin with. Um, quite a lot of fallout coming out there. Are you gonna be able to see this? Shall I zoom you in slightly? Might be a good plan. Now that the colour's kind of settled, it's actually very pink. <laughs> it's almost a little bit neon. How about this? Uh, this red? Let's just do it. Oh, I thought that was gonna be 
darker, but it's not really doing anything. <laughs> I feel like it's made it maybe a bit brighter. Is this just gonna look like someone's given me conjunctivitis? <laughs> I feel like that's what could happen here. When would I ever wear this? Maybe a festival? Although I always think people do like festival looks with all these kind of colors. And obviously like, yes, they look amazing. I've got fallout everywhere. But have you ever actually been to like, a festival in the UK that's like Reading or Leeds or Glastonbury or something because nobody does that. <laughs> I've literally got fallout all over my face. Am I gonna have to call this an epic fail? Yeah, that's literally doing nothing. Good, this has gone really well then. But I feel like I kind of want to use the other colours just because this is already an all-encompassing disaster. How about we put the blue <laughs> on the bottom? Kim Kardashian puts blue on her waterline with that fancy palette that she brought out with Mario. So if it's good enough for Kim Kardashian and Mario thingamajig, um, it's good enough for me and my Primark K-pop eyeshadow palette. Sometimes when I do these videos, I think, do you know what, Lucy? Give yourself some credit. Your makeup skills are getting better. Today, I don't think that. And I might just use a bit of the purple as well because then I've pretty much tried everything except the sparkly yellow because honestly, what do you do with sparkly yellow? If I was talented and I was a beauty guru, I'd call this Toucan Nights Horizon Sunset Eye. I was gonna try and be like, do you know what? It's not so bad. Look at it. It is bad. It is so bad. Um, okay. How do I move on from this? The only thing I am thinking is that maybe this will look slightly less insane if I add some eyeliner and mascara. Eyeliner and mascara save anything. Mm. <laughs> now that I've chucked on more mascara than any human should be able to fit on their own face, um, it looks slightly more acceptable. Maybe I've redeemed it a little. Like if you were going to like a summer fancy dress party and it was like tropical vibes and everyone was drinking out of coconuts and maybe you were dressed as like a flamingo or a girl who can't put on eye makeup. <laughs> you know when beauty gurus, like the famous ones that are really successful, put up a photo of themselves now with their like incredible talent, their latest amazing 1 million likes on Instagram look, and then they put it next to a photo of them five years ago, and they say like, the glow up is real. I'm the before photo. <laughs> this is the K-pop bubble blush, which looks a little bit like this. Um, it's a cushion blusher, and I picked this up in the shade Pastel Pink. This cost me four pounds. This teeny tiny little powder poof, which is absolutely miniature and kind of adorable. It looks like a little shoe for my finger. <laughs> and there's your product. So it's kind of like soaked into a sponge kind of thing. Um, and that's why it's called a cushion product. Oh my God, I've literally got that everywhere. Oh my God, I was expecting that to not give me any product. Oh my God, what am I supposed to do with this? It is literally like dripping over the edge. Oh, I'm panicking. What do I do about this? Okay, um, I'm going in. Okay, okay. It's, uh, it's actually quite sheer. Okay, that's much more sheer than I thought. That is actually not as terrifying. In fact, can you even see anything? Okay, that's actually blended out very nicely. That is nowhere near as terrifying as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's actually quite like a natural light flush almost. So surprise, that one wasn't a total disaster. Um, so I'm sure this one will be. This is the Super Cheeky Cheek Tint. Uh, this costs £2.50, so let's try this one. And this has a little squidgy sponge on the end, which I guess you push the product through. Oh, oh my God, where did that go? Oh my God, where did that go? Ah, where did that big dollop of color just go? Oh, f it went on these tracky bottoms, which I bought for Adam for Christmas. They're gray. I'm super happy about that really buzzing. Can't wait to tell him that I've ruined his best tracksuit bottoms. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm just gonna go for it and dab this straight onto my face. Because again, this is pretty sheer, I think. Oh no. Oh no. I keep adding more on with my fingers. Okay, there we go. That's actually sheared out again. But I really like that. That actually makes me look vaguely healthy. 
it's quite glowy, quite sheer. It gives kind of like a sheen to the skin. I really like that one. I would actually use that day to day. I'm gonna have to pause this because these tracksuit bottoms are weighing heavy on my conscience. I'm gonna go and see if I can remove the stain. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Why did that have to happen? Well, it's not looking great on, um, on the tracksuit bottom front. I think I've ruined them forever. Now more than ever, please do give this video a thumbs up because I now need to spend the AdSense on replacing those Tommy Hilfiger tracksuit bottoms for Adam. Um, good. This, this has gone super well. Should we move on? Okay, on to highlight. Again, I've got two potential contenders for this. I think I'll probably use them both. I have got the K-pop Afterglow. This one looks super interesting. This is a liquid highlighter. Um, it's in the shade Diamond and this costs £2.50. And then alternatively, I also have the K-pop Beamin, which is a shimmer powder. This is in the shade Galaxy and this was also £2.50. Oh my God, it's actual purple. It's actually purple. I was not expecting that. I thought it was just gonna have a sheen to it, but no, this is an actual purple highlight. Primark was to bring out a range of these in like slightly more wearable colors. I'd be all over that. Okay, I'm obsessed with this and I'm literally never ever gonna wear it because when would you ever reach for like lilac highlights? Um, I think the light's probably making it look a bit more neutral than it actually is. It actually looks very purple, especially this bit on my nose. That kind of like pastel highlight is just so pretty. I just don't know when you'd ever wear it. Riddle me this. So this has got like a sponge which is attached to it. I thought the sponge was separate when I looked at it, but the sponge is actually attached to it. So I guess you just go straight in on your face with this. I, I don't really know where to put this. Should I just... Oh, it is pulling some glitter out. Maybe if I do more. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand what this is. <laughs> what do I do with this? Um, I thought this was gonna be like, a loose pigment highlight. Maybe you'd want it on like on your collarbones or something if you were going for like, I don't know. Okay, there's a bit of like shimmer and sheen there. Maybe that would actually be quite cute. I'm truly baffled by this product, but. Give them the old razzle dazzle. <laughs> Razzle dazzle them. For lips, I went a bit bonkers and picked up three options because again, I was just super intrigued by these. The first one that I have is K-pop Jelly Bell, which I think is a very cute name actually. That's what they call me. That's what the boys call me. Oh, she's a real Jelly Bell. And this is a jelly lipstick. You're no say. It costs £1.50. Um, this is in the shade Pink Laces. Um, and it's just, I mean, what is this gonna be like? I have no idea. In my head, it's quite sort of sheer. Oh my God, this smells like those fruity chapsticks that you used to get when you were little. Although there is quite a bit of color to it there. Quite like the like flush of color that it's given. It's just a tinted balm really. But let's give these second ones a try too. So I picked up two of these. Um, this is K-pop Pillow Talk Matte Lip Cushion with Vitamin E. Um, so I picked up this kind of like taupey brown shade in the colour Honey Bun. Oh, that's so cute. Kind of a weird application. But that's the only way I can get it to work is if I dab it like that. I've literally got this everywhere because it's such like a messy way of putting on any lip colour. Okay, even though I've done a super terrible job at putting that on, I don't really understand how you'd ever do that neatly though because you literally have to go like this. I actually really like that. I kind of like the fact that it's like a little bit messy and not perfect and quite almost kind of like worn in looking. I feel like it's kind of toned everything down a little bit. I really like the color of it. I'm really surprised. So let's try this other color. This is the pinky one and this is called Jelly Bean. So that is the pink color. It's a lot brighter than the brown one, but I don't hate it, you know? I actually don't hate that at all. That is a cute little summer color. So there we have it. High five to you for making it to the end of this video. I don't know how you did. I barely have. I feel like I left my spirit back in about the fifth minute of filming. I think as soon as I put that pink color on my eyes, it was time to go home really, wasn't it? This is the bit I've been waiting for though. I really want to hear what you guys think. What, what are we going to say about this? Normally in these kind of videos, there's at least one thing that gets like a massive thumbs down. 
maybe the beauty sponge that was slightly crap the lip products though are going straight in my little stash of everyday makeup i would literally reach for them all the time so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy watching me basically have a mental breakdown on camera and ruin my boyfriend's favorite tracksuit bottoms um then please do give this video a thumbs up but don't forget to let me know what you would like to see me test next for average girl tries if there's any brands products looks let me know and i will get stuck in with them and give it my best shot you can follow me over on twitter and instagram both at lucy jane wood and i will see you guys next time with another video i promise it will be slightly less chaotic than this because honestly what even was this? Bye guys, see you next time. Mwah.